not skip your food and water during the rainy season if you want to be healthy make it proper and stay home safely so let's start our session i am very happy to see that you have submitted your work on time so we'll go for the next topic last session we have discussed about the select by color tool is it to prepare a poster you are using a select by color tool to choose a particular part of an image is it so while facing the image in your canvas you are getting such a dotted line is it yes so such dotted line is known as floating layers or a floating selection so what is it floating layers a floating layer it is a temporary layer or a selection which you can see while pasting the content to your canvas it will act as a normal layer so before that what is a layer can you remember why we have studied in the eighth standard yes so layers is an essential part during image editing is it yeah if you copy your image in your gym canvas after adjusting its size and the shape it will be fixed we can't move from that yes you have experience on eighth standard is yes? yeah so if it is layer if you are editing your image using layers means it will be easy for you during the image editing in every image editing software it is a main part and it will be helpful to edit your image whenever you need or whenever you have to adjust your image you can use that layers so let's see how you can use the layer so layers are the inevitable part or an important section in an image editing software the portion if you want to adjust using some tools or you have to change some content in a particular image means you can use that particular layer so in gym you can select the layer by using or you can use that particular menu windows in that you can select the dockable dialogs option in that you can choose option layers clear in gym in the windows menu you can choose the option dockable dialogs and use the selection layers okay and next is how to add a new layer in gym you can see if you are open the layer using dockable dialogs and option layers you can see such layer palette in this you can see layers it is in normal mode and opacity that is you can see the layer section why you have opened it layer and here it is floating selection why you have copied the image the current selection it will be seen as floating layer after fixing it it will be gone from that layer palette and next is what are the things you have included in the particular canvas first you have included the background it will be seen as a new layer if you want to copy an image as a new layer means you can click on the particular icon add new layer you can see here create a new layer if you want to change the position of the layers you can drag it and this i symbol it is to display the layers if you need to hide some layers means you can that is hide the particular layer during the image editing option so like this after copying the content it will be seen as a floating selection if you no need to change the content means you can use the anchor symbol to fix the floating layer clear so here it is you have if you want to copy the same layer means you can use that particular option copy layer clear so these are the <coughs> main content in a layer palette okay it is known as layer palette in the windows and document dialogs you can see that layer palette and you can open that and next is how to rename a layer by copy you will get the same name sometimes okay if you need to change the name means just open the layer palette right click on the each 
says if you want to change the name. And next is just select edit layer attribute. In that choose the option rename and you can type the new name in that particular layer and click OK. Here it is change your the name of a particular layer. Clear? So like this, these are the contents we have to study in this section. That is how to fix a floating layer and next is what is the property of a layer editing in the layer palette in G and next is what are the contents in a layer palette and it is for copying your images in a canvas. And next is renaming the layer. If you want to identify each image means you can rename the layer. And next is we know how to copy the logo. You are creating logos in the last that is have created the logo for post creating. Is it? Yes. So how to copy that? Yes. Go to the particular logo and use the option copy visible in the edit menu. Or right click and you will get the option copy visible and paste it in the canvas. Okay. So you know how to create logo that is file create logo. You can give a particular name if you want to create a poster related environmental day means you can use that option creating a logo in different style. Is it? You have to you know how to select the options and go to Copy visible in the edit menu and paste it over your canvas. So you will get a particular look of a poster creation or a collage in Gmail. Clear students? So students, shall we start our practicals? So last class we have copied a part of an image using select by color tool. Shall we check? Go to file, open to open an image it will be opening in a separate window and select the color by select by color tool and choose the option in a white selection go to edit and select the option copy and paste it over your canvas so it will be pasted in your canvas and in a dotted line can you see that it will be in a dotted line in a dotted line can you see that so such selection is known as floating selection or a floating layer clear And you can scale using the scale tool to adjust its size. Go to scale tool and click on the image and scale. So these are the content we have discussed in the last class. Is it? And finally click on that canvas. So it will be pasted in the particular canvas. So now I have to move this image or I can adjust this image to place in the corner. Can I again go to scale tool and click on there if it is possible. No. Only the particular canvas or the background it is moving. Why it is? So, in such image editing software, once you have copied or pasted in a canvas, it will be fixed. So, to avoid this, we are using a option layers. In Jim, to open a layers, go to windows, document dialogs and choose the option layers. Here you can see only we have one 
layer in that particular canvas so how to work in with the layers we will go to a new canvas maximize it now you can copy the image select the image using select by color tool copy it before pasting you can activate the layer and a separate layer in a canvas so go to new layer in this and name it as according to your convenience and again right click paste in the canvas if you need to adjust you can adjust the particular image so just select the layer i need to increase its size if you need to move this means you can move I need to place it in that edge of a canvas means I can. Can you see that? Again, one more picture we can copy from this. Again, open one more image in this. Here, I have to select only this semicircle section. So, use the part circular tool or an ellipse tool to select that particular section in a circular shape just select it go to edit copy go to our canvas open the layer palette which is known as layer palette and here click on new layer again select the option just paste it on the particular canvas which is in the floating layer selection you can see that the dot layer again I have to adjust its size which is in a circular shape I have to place here and click scale and click on that anchor tool it will be fixed so your floating layer it will be fixed in that particular section next is i have to call that is paste in logo in this canvas so you know how to select go to file create logos select any option here you can type save tree trees if you need to increase the font size you can increase here if you need to change the background color here also if you need to change means you can select and click ok you are getting the particular color here it is select edit copy use the option copy visible then only the letters it will be selecting in that logo and it will be displaying in this canvas select it again just leave the name of the layer whichever you like choose the option and just go to edit paste 
here you will get the only the text which we need to copy select the layer first only the particular layer will be moving while choosing the layer option from this so like this you can create any poster related to the particular topic so these are the topics now today we are discussing that is how to select a part of an image using select by color tool and using a rectangle using a circular tool and how to place a logo in this if i need to change the name of this layer to name means just right click here you have an option edit layer attribute in this you can change the name i have to give it one let's click okay so your layer's name is changed like this you can give any name or any num number of content in this layer palette during your image editing process okay students so these are the things we have discussing today I think you have understood the contents. We'll see you with the new talk. So I hope you have understood the contents. With a new topic, we'll see you in the next class.